Hi, welcome to DIY Wives. We're Joyelle and Tina. We hope you enjoy our channel and are inspired to learn how to do it yourself. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. We post every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Hi guys, welcome to episode two. Uh, we wanted to do a little bit of a different format for this week and just kind of talk you through our trip to Iceland. Hope you enjoy. Uh, we're gonna show you where we stayed. Uh, we stayed in, uh, they call it the Hotel Viking and Village. And it was pretty awesome. Yeah, it, uh, it was definitely different. Yeah, it was definitely different. <laughs> it, it, it was not a five-star hotel, that's for sure. Um, but I don't think you need that in Iceland and uh, It was it was very cute. It was like a little cottage and the boys slept upstairs um, in like a bunk kind of area and uh, We slept downstairs and you're not even in your room. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah, and it's uh, an adventure Yeah, it's an adventure. The only thing I will tell everyone ahead of time is there is a very strong smell of sulfur basically like rotten eggs um, and that's because they get their hot water from the hot springs in the country um, and so that comes directly through their pipes and 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 the cold water is glacier water uh, which is some of the freshest water you can drink yeah I mean it's, it's unbelievable amazing. yeah so yeah so check it out Day two, it's technically day one, um, and I'm very adventurous. I, I love doing scary, different things, and um, I thought it would be a great idea to go hike the glacier, because <laughs> who gets to hike a glacier um, all the time and um, in this beautiful country, and Tina was gracious enough to decide, <laughs> you know, to, to come along this journey with us and, and go along with my adventures. Um, and so yeah, take a look. We really weren't expecting it to be as difficult as it was. No. We're in a, we're in our forties and um, not in the best of shape right no. now. <laughs> um, but we survived, and yeah. you know we got to the top. But we did was, it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> but uh, it was difficult. Yeah, it was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do, honestly, as far as physical 
uh, things. It definitely took a toll. I wish I had uh, practiced. Not practiced, because yes. you can't really practice hard going up a glacier, but at least maybe did some hikes, <laughs> did some hikes beforehand. Um, so, but the boys loved it yeah. and they did great. Yeah, it um, was like it was nothing to them. <laughs> it was their favorite part yeah. of the week. Yeah. Um, so we hope you guys enjoy. Climbing up this mountain, climbing up twice Hoping that I make it this time But I'm so done with hoping Cause hoping leads to failing, leads to falling down this mountain Falling down again Back my um, We've got a beautiful fat local glacier outlet just behind That's where we're gonna go today uh, This is a glacier outlet Falling down this mountain, falling down again. Boom, boom, heartbeat still beating in the end. I'm choking, but that's just what they wanted. So I get up off the ground and I shake it out. Da -da -da. Come look at me now, look at me now. I'm not here to talk, I'm not here to talk. I'm just here to walk, here to walk the walk. I'm gonna make it up this mountain. Make So we did the South Coast and we're going to put the description down below um, of the places that we visited with some links if they're available. 
we're not going to attempt to say the names of these places because we don't want to butcher them. <laughs> it's very difficult. And I'm even positive that we're not even saying Reykjavik correctly. So that's about the only word you're going to hear from us. Um, we'll try our best. But uh, anyway, all the names will be in the link in the description down below. Okay, so day two was extremely busy. Um, we did a lot on that day. And we mostly explored the south coast. Yeah. Um, and that included the crater, the waterfall, one of the waterfalls. Um, uh, the crater, the waterfall, um, then we saw an Icelandic forest. Oh yeah, they had a couple on a, from a farm mm -hmm. just hanging out by the road that you could feed. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Um, and then we went to um, the hot spring. Yep, the hot springs. And then after that, oh, after that, after the hot springs, we went to the, the rift, the rift, the yeah. tectonic plate rift um, that's there. And then from there, we actually went to into Reykjavik for dinner. So we had a great dinner at Brock, great restaurant, um, tapas style, but with Iceland food. Yeah. Uh, Icelandic food, sorry. It's, it's right across from the church. Yeah, it's right across from the main church in, in the center of Reykjavik. And uh, then after that, we actually went Northern Lights hunting. Yeah. And, and when Tina and I were there the first time, we weren't able to see them. And so this time we, we rented a car. And so we were driving around and we dro drove kind of near the... Um, we went back to where the... the towards where the, the waterfall was. Yeah. Like the rift. Um, no. And not the rift. No, the rift. The, yeah. So it's it's their national park, and I'm not again going to attempt to say the name, but but it was a nice area because like it was nice and clear. Mm -hmm. Um, there was like a little lake in the background, um, and then the, you know, we weren't too sure if we were going to be able to see it. Um, it was going to be the clearest out of all of the days we were going to be there, so we thought it would be the best, um, day to kind of look, um, and right before it started getting dark the skies cleared up the clouds went away yeah it was amazing and it was a clear sky um the only difference was that we're not used to here is um it didn't get dark until like 11 11 30 um, p.m <laughs> p.m and then we saw the North northern lights around like midnight mm -hmm. um and that was even surprising because you know, I always thought you could see the northern lights no matter what with the naked eye. And uh, we found out that, you know, I started looking and, and I started seeing like these striated like clouds and just looked funny and didn't look like real clouds. And so I heard that if you put your camera up to it, sometimes you can see the northern lights. And I put my, my phone up and it was bright green, bright purple, gorgeous. It was um, unbelievable. Yeah. We were all jumping up and <laughs> jumping up and screaming. Um, like we were just so happy to be out there. It was freezing, yeah. like so cold. Um, but it was definitely a big check on the bucket list. So I hope you enjoy this, this segment.
Day three, um, we went to see the Black Sand Beach. Uh -huh. um, then we went to Diamond Beach. Um, we stopped by a waterfall, um, a, a very popular waterfall, but I'm not going to say it because <laughs> I will demolish it. Yeah. Um, and then on our way back to our hotel, all of a sudden it was just a blizzard. So when we were at the beaches, it was beautiful skies, blue skies. Yeah gorgeous out and then on our way back we entered a blizzard and we're from new england we're we're in massachusetts so we're used to blizzards and snow and well joyous i'm from florida so. <laughs> <laughs> um yes um and so i was driving along and i'll and i'll be honest like you'll see the footage but i've never driven in a blizzard like i didn't that. think we were gonna make it <laughs> i thought we were gonna have to pull over for real and we did a couple of times just to get really really slow and um, it was terrifying on so many levels, mostly because you didn't, there, there was a drop off on the right side of some of the road, mm -hmm. uh, drop off into like lava fields and different things. And you didn't know where that end was <laughs> at, so, at some point. So it was, it was terrifying, but I, Joy got us to the hotel. I can't even, I, I can't Stuff even like that it. doesn't usually bother me, but I don't know, just being in a different country and having those drop offs with no like railings yeah. or anything, like yeah. it freaked me out a little yeah. bit. But. And also not to mention, you know, we had heard from some of the locals that, you know, it's mostly dangerous too, because especially at that time, like 70% of the people on the road are not even from Iceland. So you have drivers having no idea where to go. I've and never seen snow. Never even seen snow sometimes and driving on these roads and it was crazy. But here's the video.
decided that we would uh, just, I agreed on horseback riding and the reason why I have been, not against it, but I feel bad. I don't want to hurt the, any horses' backs. And the last time we were in Iceland, we were told that the Icelandic horses had really wide backs and that they're really comfortable holding people, like we can ask them. But anyway, um, they're just such beautiful creatures. They are just really one of the most beautiful animals I've ever seen. And honestly, I really wanted to get close to one and, and ride them. So we, we booked a tour. Yeah. And Tina or always, took, booked a riding class. I yeah. Don't know. And Tina owes me a, a Icelandic horse. Yeah. I'll get right on that. <laughs> um, um, but it was the first time horseback riding for the boys. So they were like super, super excited about that. And it just, the, the people at, uh, and I'm going to say the name, but I'm probably butchering it, Ishtar, uh, Ishtar, mm -hmm. uh, link in the description below. Uh, it was, they were fantastic. Um, everyone that worked there, um, it just was probably one of my favorite days, um, or afternoon, just, just being out there. And then, and it was only like 15 minutes from Re Reykjavik. So it was really super close to the hotel, which was nice since we, have we had basically driven all around Iceland so um, yeah. it was nice to get to some place closer yeah um, and then from there after that we just we actually spent the day uh, the rest of the day in uh, Reykjavik just walking around and shopping and and this was a fantastic day like just for the boys and, yeah and for cool. us like we really bonded that day. I yeah. feel like like we just had such a great time nice. as a family. Yeah, like especially walking around Reykjavik and just seeing the, the boys take the everything church. in the church. The church is beautiful. If you have a chance to go to the church yeah. and then go up to the tower, that was pretty amazing because on the top you can kind of see all. Yeah, the you'll icons. see. You'll see. We did like Reykjavik. a three sixty, and uh, you know we're not religious, but you can appreciate the architecture of the building. Uh, of the structure is just unbelievable, unbelievable. So yeah, we, um, we hope you guys enjoy. Video. Yeah, minus two. Hey, let's get some pictures. Oh, he was really mad. That's nice.
we're at day five, our last day in, in Iceland. Um, and this day, we kind of just wanted it to be a relaxed day. You know, we, we go, 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 go on these adventures with the kids. And it's always good to have kind of like a relaxed yeah, a day before day. we get back. Yeah. Um, so we decided to do the Blue Lagoon, um, mm -hmm. which is absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's so refreshing, so relaxing. Um, just an amazing place. Um, and the people are just amazing and we able we were able to celebrate Connor's birthday that night yeah. we we had made reservations at the Blue Lagoon restaurant called Lava mm -hmm. um, which is amazing we highly recommend um, and they have tables by the the windows and at the windows you can see all of the the blue, mm -hmm. milky bluish um, water which um, it's the Blue Lagoon and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and there we, we were able to celebrate his birthday. And yeah, it was cool. Yeah. So. to get away from the kids. Yeah. I'm gonna show this off for a little Yeah. Good idea. Idea. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday, you. Happy birthday, birthday, you. Happy birthday dear Connor. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Thank you guys.
hope you enjoyed our adventure in Iceland. And, yeah. Um, definitely, if you ever have a chance, try to make it out there because it's one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. A hundred percent. Um, yeah, and if you guys have any questions, we'd love to uh, answer them for you. We actually have our comments turned off on most of our social media. You know, we don't have to explain to you why we do that, but we do have a private Facebook uh, chat group that we are actually very active on. And if you'd like to join that, we have the link in the description below as well. So again, we welcome any questions that you have about our visit to Iceland or about any questions about our channel. And uh, We'll see you next week with a new video. Until then, see you later. Bye guys. Thank you for watching and remember to stay humble, be kind, and above all, keep smiling and keep dancing. All right. I'm going to do